Hello everyone. I am R. S. Idath from Sri Shakti International School, Coimbatore. I am studying 11th Commerce. I and my classmate Danya, both of us together, done a project work on analyzing the Tamil Nadu revised budget for the financial year of 2021 to 2022, which was presented by the T. N. Finance Minister P. T. R. Palanivel Thiagarajan on August 13. In this video, we just want to share our knowledge and understanding we gained through analyzing the revised budget of 2021 to 2022. We have done this analysis purely with the intention of learning about the government budget, which is very much connected to our commerce subjects. That's all my intro. Now my friend Danya will do some part of the presentation, and I will join after. The total budget estimation, that is the amount Tamil Nadu government plans to spend under various sector and schemes, is three lakh twenty nine thousand thirty five crores. Total receipt, that is how. PN government organized this 3,29,035 crores. Actually, the actual receipt is 2,8,553 crores. That is the government revenue sources like taxes, non-taxes, and sharing of taxes from central government. The remaining 1,20,479 crores the government going to borrow. It is clear from the analysis that the borrowing on total estimation is 36.61 percentage. To put it in the another way. For spending every hundred rupees, the government need to borrow rupees thirty-seven. The next part of my presentation is sectoral allocation of the budget. The total budget is proportionated to various sectors and schemes. Totally, around fifty titles given in the budget for various sectoral and scheme allocation. Now you can see from the tables. After analyzing all the allocations. To simplify it, we have categorized all the allocation under seven major headings. First one is education, second one is industries, third one is infrastructure, fourth one is health and welfare, fifth one is loan subsidy and losses, sixth one is safety and maintenance, seventh one is others. Now here you are seeing the seven categories allocation in this diagram. Now let's see each category in detail. First category is education sector. The total sectoral allocation made for education in this budget is 37,968.71 crore, in which the school education is 32,599.54, and higher education is 5,369.17 crore. Tamil Nadu has allocated. 13.3 percentage of its total expenditure for education in 2021 to 2022 this is lower than the average allocation that is 15.8 percentage for education by all the states in 2020 to 2021 the sectoral allocation for industry if you see the diagram 3677.87 crores is been allocated in which the core industrial development estimation is 2,990 crore for mines and minerals, 10 crores for textiles, 490.27 crores for tourism, 187.59 crores. Tamil Nadu has allocated 1.11 percentage of its total expenditure for industry in 2021 to 2022. We have bought 13 sectoral allocation given in the budget under one category as infrastructure. The total estimation is. Forty-four thousand eight hundred and ninety-seven point zero three crore. The various sectoral proportional allocation also you can see from the diagram. For agriculture, the state has allocated seven point seven percent of its total expenditure towards agriculture and allied activities in two thousand twenty-one to two thousand twenty-two. This is higher than the average allocation for agriculture by states, that is six point three percent. For rural development, Tamil Nadu has allocated. 3.0 percentage of its expenditure on rural development in 2021 to 2022. This is significantly lower than the average allocation for rural development by states, that is 6.1 percentage. For roads and bridges, Tamil Nadu has allocated 5 percentage of its total expenditure on roads and bridges in 2021 to 2022, which is higher than the average allocation by states, that is 4.3 percentage. The next major category is health and welfare. We bought. 11 sectoral allocation given in the budget into the category of health and welfare. The first one is social security pension. The second one is COVID-19 relief package. The third one is labor welfare and skill development. The fourth one is health and family welfare. The fifth one is social welfare. 
the sixth one is Adi Dravida and Tribal Welfare, the seventh one is Minorities Welfare, the eighth one is Welfare for Differently Abled, the ninth one is Youth Welfare and Sports Development, the tenth one is Public Distribution System, the eleventh one is Urban Wage Employment. The total allocation for all this 11 sector and scheme is 59,488.3 crores. Tamil Nadu has allocated 18% of its total expenditure for health and welfare schemes in 2021 to 2022. For health department alone, Tamil Nadu has allocated 6.1% of its total expenditure on health in 2021 to 2022, which is higher than the average allocation for health by states, that is 5.5%. Now again, my friend Siddharth will continue the presentation. The next aspect of budget analysis is the estimated sanctioning of loan to SSG, behavior of cooperative loan and subsidy and the losses because of low price in transport and tangent code that is TNEB as well as losses because of rupees 3 per liter reduction in petrol. The total allocation here you see is 48,288.77 crores. The sixth classification of TN budget 2021-2022 to is safety maintenance which covered disaster management, police, fire, rescue services, road safety, administration of just is the total allocation of rupees 12,908.72 crore. Tamil Nadu has allocated 2.8 percentage of its total expenditure on police in 2021 to 2022, which is lower than the average allocation of police by states. Last under the seventh category, we have given as others, which include Tamil language development, archaeology de development, Hindu religious, and charitable endowment. We want to conclude our presentation by summarizing some of our major learning. First, the foremost important learning from TN revised to budget 2021 to 2022 analysis is we came to know what is budget and how the budget is made. We have also learned how the government arranges money for various schemes as well as the government prioritizes its expenditure to different sectors. We also came to know that our state Tamil Nadu is the stage of top borrowing state in India. We hope that Tamil Nadu will soon recover from its debt trap as per the conclusive word given by the budget finance minister that we will bring down the revenue defect in the coming years while continuing to invest in growth oriented expenditure. Friends, I hope this educational video on Tamil Nadu revised budget 2021 to 2022 is useful to you all. Thank, Thank you. you.